Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Good Bruce bringing you another Mortal Kombat video. And today, what I got for you guys here is going to be my official review for Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge. This is the animated Mortal Kombat movie that is now officially available on digital for you to be able to purchase if you wanted to check it out. It's going to be available later this month on Blu ray, but it's available right now on digital. And I wanted to talk about it, wanted to give you guys my non spoiler review of the movie but before we do so i wanted to ask you guys of course if you could leave a like rating on the video as it shows your support and i would really appreciate it so if you could leave a like that would be awesome and with that said well let's get into this so i think the gist of it if i were to give you just the one word answer is this movie good yes or no i would say yes but i do want to go a little more in depth i do want to talk a little bit more about the things that i liked and the things that i don't like because i do have some negatives when it comes to this movie and some of the things that i wasn't the biggest fan of but we'll get to that in a little bit starting off though with the things that i liked i do want to talk mostly about the characters because i think they're all handled really well these are the mortal Kombat characters that we know and love there isn't too much of a departure in terms of the way that they are presented in this film they are if you're an MK fan, exactly how you'll remember them. Scorpion, Sonya, Johnny, Raiden, Shang Tsung is in there, Quan Chi. A lot of the characters that you know and love for the Mortal Kombat lore are all handled really well, in my opinion, in this movie. Obviously, Johnny Cage is one of the stars. He is extremely funny. He's got some great jokes in there. And he's handled the way that Johnny kind of is in the Mortal Kombat world. He jumps into this as an actor who's not really sure what the hell is going on. And then he slowly starts to realize, oh, wait... This is all real. This is all this all this insanity is real. And I loved kind of the progression for his character. And then obviously Sonya is in there and she's really great as well. The voice cast does a great job too with these characters. I thought I wasn't going to be the biggest fan of the voice cast because you don't have a lot of actors returning from the games in this one. You had a couple of actors that are just changed for some of the characters in this, which I wasn't really sure why they did that, but nevertheless they all did a great job obviously joel McHale as johnny cage is amazing i think he did an amazing job i think he's fantastic with the character and then you got jennifer carpenter in there as sonia blade which i think she does fine as well she she handles the characterization really well in there steve bloom is back as sub-zero which i was really happy about although that's one of the problems with my movie again we'll get a little more into the negatives sub-zero doesn't really do much in this movie which Kind of upsets me. He's one of my favorite characters in Mortal Kombat. So I don't know about that. Uh, and then we also had, I believe, Patrick States as Scorpion, who is a returning voice actor for the character. He's done the voice for the character before. So that was really good. Overall, just top to bottom, voice acting is great. And the characters are great in this movie. And I love that they got the returning voice actor for Goro from the original Mortal Kombat movie to do Goro's voice in this animated movie. I believe it's Kevin Michael Richardson and he is awesome. I am so happy that they got him back to voice Goro. And then moving on, I wanted to talk about the story as well. There are a lot of positives that I have with the story, but there are some negatives. So just speaking on the positives, I thought it was pretty well handled. The Mortal Kombat tournament and the story for Scorpion, they do tell kind of his origin. It starts specifically about his origin and how he becomes Scorpion. It's just that I wish that we got a little bit more of that versus the tournament. I get that the tournament is a part of Scorpion's story and it is integrated into his path, his journey as Scorpion. I guess I just wanted a little more of the focus to be on Scorpion like it was from the beginning because the first 10 minutes of this movie, I was all in. I was like, this is going to be a 10 out of 10, one of the best Mortal Kombat media things that we've gotten in a long time outside of the games. But unfortunately, once you get to the tournament, it doesn't really put too much focus on Scorpion and just lets the tournament run and has all the other characters kind of in play at that point. So I'm not really sure how I feel about that, but I think overall it's handled as best as they could. Because like I said, Scorpion's story is the tournament. Like a part of his journey in being Scorpion is the tournament. So for them to put a big focus on the tournament and the other characters in play was probably an important thing to do and kind of a necessary evil. So I guess you could say I'm just in the middle when it comes to the story. I like it, but I also don't like it. There are just, it's, it's a flip flop kind of thing. There are things that I like, things that I don't like, but for the most part, I think that I did enjoy that the way the plot was told and I do enjoy the tournament. I mean, I feel like 
if the movie wasn't called Scorpion's Revenge, maybe it just would have had a little more of a pass because then you're like, okay, it's not specifically about Scorpion. It's just showing off a bit of his story and how he kind of gets involved in the tournament. And then we just let the tournament be the story of the movie. I also love that the movie leaves room for more. It doesn't just end and that's it. There is definitely room for another animated movie or just a series of animated movies within this universe that can explore all sorts of different things. And I mean, the fact that they title it Mortal Kombat Legends, and this one is specifically about Scorpion's Revenge, must mean that they plan to make a series of Mortal Kombat Legends animated movies specifically about each of the characters within the franchise. So I would love for the next one to be about Sub-Zero and kind of his path in becoming Noob Saibot. That would be amazing. And then another thing about this movie that I freaking loved that I think is the best thing about this movie, and that is the animation. It is awesome. Some of the fight scenes in this movie are so freaking badass. There are some incredible moments in terms of the fights and the animation and all the style there. All the gore and the crazy Mortal Kombat isms are all there in full force. You've seen it in the trailers as well. If you watch the Red Band trailer, they have x-rays in the movie, which was amazing, really shows the impact during some of the fights, which is the point of the x-rays in the game. So a great way to pay homage to the games in that way and utilize something that works really well in the games in this animated movie. I thought that was brilliant. And overall, just the animation, some of the fights, incredible seriously the best part of the movie is the animation and the fight scenes that come with it okay now let's talk a little bit about some of the things that i didn't like about the movie and one of the biggest problems that i had was the mismanagement of some of the characters now i don't want to say that this is a massive issue however there are some characters in this movie and it's really only a select few that i feel like weren't handled really well there are a lot of things that go on with Liu Kang that I don't think are the greatest but maybe if there are going to be sequels we can see the entire arc and kind of what the whole vision the grand vision was for that character I just feel like for this movie Liu Kang wasn't really kind of the Liu Kang that you would know from the original franchise so We'll see. I don't want to consider that a glaring issue because he still has his moments and there are still some really badass Liu Kang moments in the movie. It's just, it didn't feel truly like the one, you know, the ultimate warrior that Liu Kang is in the original game. So we'll see again, if there's going to be a sequel, if there's going to be just a franchise of movies, maybe even there's going to be a Mortal Kombat Legends Liu Kang movie, then we'll see what kind of the grand scheme was, what the grand vision was was for the character but he was a character that i had a bit of a problem with quan chi i also feel wasn't really handled extremely well there's just there's some stuff that i can't really get into because of spoilers but overall i just wasn't the biggest fan of the handling of that character and then sub-zero is really not in this movie that much he has a couple of scenes and that's really it which upsets me the most because this is scorpion's revenge scorpion and sub-zero are like the ultimate rivals in that path. Now, granted, we know where that journey ends up, especially if you play Mortal Kombat 11, they're like working together. But in this movie, during this time, this is the beginnings of Scorpion. This is when he is at his angriest. And I feel like there should have just been more between him and Sub-Zero to get more of an idea of that. You know, there just, there should have been more Sub-Zero integrated into this movie, I think. I just, I would have liked that because there is one fight scene between Scorpion and Sub-Zero which is like 10 out of 10 amazing. Some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen in animation, which I mean, granted, I'm not the biggest anime junkie, so maybe there's a lot cooler things that I haven't seen. But in this movie specifically, out of all the animation that I've watched, it was one of the coolest fights I've ever seen. It is so freaking cool. They handle and showcase Sub-Zero's powers really well. I just wish we got a little more of them, just, just a little bit more of them. But again, Maybe there's a grand vision here. Maybe, same with Liu Kang, we're going to get a Mortal Kombat Legends Sub-Zero mythologies. And then, you know, something that I've gone over already earlier, some problems that I have with the story. You know, it's called Scorpion's Revenge. However, it seems that throughout, like, the second act of the movie, he's just barely there. So, there, it's just, it's difficult because Mortal Kombat is about the cast of characters. It's hard to make a movie about one specific character and not have a bit of a focus on the entire cast because they play such a major role to the progression of the Mortal Kombat story. So 
it is difficult. However, I feel they did the best with what they could. It's just obviously the story's going to suffer a bit for it, especially when you call the movie Scorpion's Revenge and there's just this large focus on the tournament and all these other characters come into play. But overall, I think I really enjoyed this movie. I do highly recommend it. If you're a Mortal Kombat fan, if you're a diehard fan, you probably will have some issues with the movie like I did, but I think overall you will enjoy it as well. And I mean, if you're a casual fan, this is right up your alley, especially if you're a fan of animation. I could not recommend this enough. There is a lot of enjoyment to be had out of this movie. And yeah, I just, I would recommend it. It's available on digital right now and it's going to be available on Blu-ray later this month. I think April 28th is when it's going to be available on Blu-ray DVD. So if you want to pick it up and get a physical copy, you can absolutely do so. Although make sure you maintain social distancing, but if you want, you can get a digital copy. It's available right now. If I were to rate the movie out of 10, I think I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10. I did enjoy it thoroughly. I just had a couple of issues with it, but We'll see. I want to see more of this. I want a sequel. I want a franchise of Mortal Kombat Legends movies that focuses on some of the individual characters. Just please, next up, give me Sub-Zero. I need to see the story between, you know, Bihan, Kwai Liang, having Sub-Zero turn into Noob Saibot, all that stuff. I need to see it. It would be amazing. But with that said, I'm now going to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Have you watched this movie? If so, what did you think about it? Try to keep it spoiler free if you can for some of the people who haven't seen it yet or are waiting to get their physical copy with the Blu-ray. So let's try to keep it as spoiler free as we can in the comments, but let me know your thoughts on the movie. And if you enjoyed my review, if you could leave a like rating on the video, it shows your support and I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.